think the hookup culture is really big right now, and I think that there's a lot, a lot of lack of commitment in relationship, and everybody is really physical, really fast in a lot of places, and and I think that that leads to infatuation in a lot of ways, and it's mm. and it and infatuation is not the same as love, and and like they we were talking about earlier, our head gets up in the clouds, like we don't see right, we're not looking at the th the thing the way it should be, we don't we don't have good judgment, so wise counsel is good. Um, but I also think that, like we said, there's that di there's the balance between that active and passive approach, and I think it's very important that we realize that if you act like a hermit and you don't ever talk to anybody, you won't ever meet anybody. And that's it's that's, uh, it's it's not like God's just going to be like, hey, poof, and she just comes out of the sky. Oh, there's your wife. It, it doesn't work like that. It's through relationship that God associates us with people. So it's important that you're, you're not becoming a, rec a recluse, mm -hmm. but, you, but you pay attention. Hey, this is the voice of God. God's saying, go here. I believe that there are times where God gives us instruction to go places, and it can even have effect on our spouse. When I got right with God, when I got back to being with God, my dad told me, I'm going on a trip, and I'm going to minister in three churches. He said, do you want to go with me? And I said, uh, I don't know about that. And a couple days later, God really just like grabbed a hold of me and said, you have to go on this trip. I said, okay, I went. And it was on that trip that I met my wife. We were friends for two years. And, and then we started into a dating relationship for years. And now we're married with three kids and it's an incredible thing. But it was because of obedience to the voice of the Lord that said, hey, you got to go. And being where God tells you to be is the most important thing. Yeah, before we go, we go to the go to the an anonymous caller that just called in, uh, Jeff and Gina, real quick. I just had a I just had a real quick comment uh, on on this conversation, and that's I, I always just want to affirm that um, the Bible champions single people as well. And sometimes we have this this idea where we idolize relationship and mm, marriage and good. thinks that it's somehow gonna um, fulfill our, our lives. Um, but the truth is you can live a thriving and emotionally healthy life um, as, a, as a Christian single person, um, and that's okay. So I, I, I love what Gina, you, you shared about just not being anxious about anything, to really be comfortable and okay in that spot too. Good job. And to add on to that, when you do find her or, or um, him. other folks who are out there, if you either find him or her, make sure you guys are not unequally yoked. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You have to be equally yoked or your household will not stand. No. It will not stand. That's like God and the devil being in one room. Uh-oh. And you know if it's not <laughs> God's way, there's another way that you can go. And it's against God. And nothing against God will ever last. Mm -hmm. So you want the blessings of God to be in your relationship, to be in your life, to be in your heart. And to be with your woman or your man, man of God, woman of God, that has to be the main goal is to be equally yoked. So just to add on to that, I agree with all my brothers and sisters. So. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like that video and comment below. Hit the subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.